sitting out there in those woods. It's amazing to me the people that, uh, the, 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 the hundreds of thousands of people that go through the Big Sur mm -hmm. never get off the road. Well, they never get out of their cars. No, they stop while they do when they go to the bar or the restaurant. Right. But they don't, there's nobody on these trails. <laughs> I just, I just had a funny just image of the dark yeah. watches, like working with kitchens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a garbage Yeah, there's no, no, this guy doing dishes, you know, he's about yay tall. No, when we were kids, we used to go out there uh, with our friend Jennifer Lovejoy, and her, this is a magnificent piece too. This is beautiful. They're all, all the paintings are beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. And uh, in Pfeiffer, we used to mm -hmm. go to the falls, took long walks. Uh, what, what I found interesting is we were young at the time, and you're also a little frightened. There's a little thing, you know, when you're not an adult. You, well, you pretend you're not frightened when you're an adult, but when you're a kid, you sort of, it's sort of, you get into it. It's like going to scary movies, mm -hmm. you know. So it was, you know, like the Blair Witch Project, right. walking through the woods. What was that sound? Did you hear that? You know, we did that kind of thing to each other. Oh, what's that over there? Right. Trying to spook each other. Okay. So we were totally convinced of the Dark Watchers, and... Uh, well, see, that's what I thought this was all about. I thought I was giving you, I thought what I was handing you was the perfect excuse to go someplace oh, by you yourself. Did. Totally. You know? Then I decided, well, instead of doing... Then you disappeared. Instead of doing, doing a picture book of, you know, which is kind of boring, do something different. And, um, like I said, my original concept was to sit out there in the woods with my easel and uh, my paraphernalia and do these paintings on location. But then I realized that taking all this equipment and oil paints into the woods, the dark watchers aren't gonna, they're not gonna vacate the premises immediately, <laughs> they're gonna be gone. So, in order to get them to show up, I just sat there with my sketch pad and some pencils mm -hmm. and became very quiet and still and made these sketches there and so I could go back in the studio or in camp mm -hmm. and, and do these little paintings. Mm -hmm. So that's how these came about. Well that was probably very, very good because one of the traditions of the Dark Watches is, that I've always heard, is that if you look directly at them, mm -hmm. they know that you see them and they'll disappear like yeah. fog. Right. So the trick is if you know they're there, I heard this from my father, he used to to, now, if you think you see them, when you look out of the corner of your eye, pretend you're looking over here, but look out of the corner of your eye and look at that. There's, there's one of these that they're definitely, definitely. I like. Sure. I really like these pages. Right there. Right. These are very beautiful. And oh yeah, look at them right there. There's a whole yeah. bunch of them sitting right there. Yeah. That's they incredible. Down here in the corner too. Yeah. This will probably be the only evidence out there uh, to the existence of the Dark Watchers. It really will be. I, mean, I have a friend who claims she saw the Dark Watchers. I'm not, not surprised. I mean, a lot of people have. Yeah. When I did the sketch, I didn't realize that they had put that in there. Uh-huh. These are, these are lovely. I mean, the nice thing about this is that, that a great many people, whether they love paintings or not, are not really too sure how they're made. Right. You know, how did you how did you get there? How did you get there from here? You know, because in the old days, even during my grandmother's day, I mean, there were only horse trails. The only wagon roads actually came over from King City. They didn't come from the coast, right? You had to take these were all trails, and it was always people. You know, they move things on on mule back, so they have a chain of mules with a bunch of cargo on them, and uh, and of course you wanted to move the mules when it wasn't really in the hot of heat of the day. So you went in the morning or the evening, and that's when the dark watches are seen. Mm -hmm. And of course, that first thing is that, you know, I guess they will always assume, until they read what we've written, that you did go out there with an easel. And, uh, well, see, I had to go out there because how would I get here? Because if you... Well, I know, exactly. You would say, oh, that's where the painting was painted. Mm -hmm. Now, so I had to be there to do this and then go from memory. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking about this. The Dark Watch is not something you just talk about. Or even my father to say that this wasn't just another Loch Ness monster thing. Right. You know, there was something really out there. Even Bill Post talks about, it, which is one of the reasons why 
uh, there was, uh, I don't know whether you know about the Indian girl that was found on the Post Ranch. Did you know anything about that? Well, you told me about that, yes. There was an Indian girl found on the Post Ranch. Uh, this is, uh, I think, in the 1920s. They found her grave. And they removed the skeleton and the grave in situ. So they removed this whole thing and it was on exhibit. And, and Bill Post said, from then on out, our luck went downhill. Uh, and I've forgotten who arranged for this, and probably Lucy did for the university, to have the Indian artifact. I think she also went through the tribal councils to do this, because they had, at this point, they had the most power. To have the girl return to her original place, her original grave. And Bill Post said, you know, now the Dark Watchers will be fine. Because the Dark Watchers also, he said, now they'll come back. I said, come back? He said, yeah, they, you know, because they were sort of the luck of the land and everything mm -hmm. else. And when they removed Lucy and took her up to the university, they deserted us. We didn't, we didn't see them again until we brought back uh, Lucy and, and put her back on the land. Right? Now, when Bill got older and he was having a hard time walking, he got one of the segways. Mm -hmm. right. And of course, he's the one that was telling me that how much the Dark Watchers dislike technology. But evidently, they didn't mind his segue. <laughs> <laughs>